why the x axis is called the what abscissa. You have this as abscissa. So take note. And when you have a line that hosts the y axis, at this particular point it's called the y axis, that's called the what the c intercept. That simply means the first equation of a line that we have it is going to be what? Y is equal to what? Mx plus C. Where your M here is the gradient and this particular C is the Y intercept thickness. That simply means when the line cuts through the word origin, that simply means it's not going to be any C intercept. The formula simply becomes what? Y is equal to what? Mx. That's when it passes through the origin. So this is the first equation of a line. So that one is going to be what? We also know that our gradient n is equal to what? y2 minus what? y1 over what? x2 minus what? x1. This is when you're looking for the gradient of what? A line. When you have two points. Two points like x1, y1, and what? x2, what? y2. The other one is what? When you're trying to form equation of a line, when you're being given like two points. So you can simply apply y minus what? y1 over what? x minus what? x1 is equal to what? y2 minus what? y1 over what x2 minus what x1. So these are the basic. So which other one? Take notes. When two lines meet each other at what and they perpendicular to each other, that simply means since they are perpendicular at 90 degree, if the two one gradient is m1 and this particular gradient is what m2, that simply means the product of this particular m1 and m2 must be equal to minus 1. That simply means m1, m2 must be equal to minus 1. When two lines